Guys, we are back with the beautiful Horizon Forbidden West. The car jar just are not turning up to this meeting. And I feel Sir? like we have to go and investigate. We have to go and find out what is going on. But first, we have four skill points to spend. So let's spend them. I think I'm going to spend these on Machine Master. We're fighting a lot of machines right now. So I think that's a good way to go. This spike trap, did we unlock that? I think we do. A weapon technique. There we go. Oh, did that take up two points? Oh, interesting. Uh, machine health. Overridden machines have more health. Good to know. So that's actually a 50% boost. That's not a tiny bit. That's a significant margin. Um, so if I have a machine like the Charger, it can get damaged. And you basically use shards to repair those machines. Uh, this basically brings down the cost of repairing. There we go. So I'm guessing that's a new a new trap. I don't know how that works. Will it tell us? <laughs> so there we go. We have a new weapon technique, that's which is the spike trap, Sorry. which we can use in combat. Uh, I'll try and use it in this episode, fingers crossed. Uh, basically hold R1. There is a weapon Boy, stamina, slash. which I'm guessing is the orange bar. Will it pop up? Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe, Get maybe. Back. Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh, Nora. Only our annoyance. Um, I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm going. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... Bye-bye! You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Ah, he's caught up. Of course he has. He's going to be fuming. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn blows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Take it easy on yourself. Hey, hey Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I you know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let her through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. All right, we're back together again. Can she shake him off again? Maybe. I think it's good to have a little bit of backup. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west. Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in. It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? <laughs> the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. 
The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Avad gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But... Such an association with the Karja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't it. You and the Tanaka. Um, by the way, I got a little bit confused on the intro. Uh, the Karja are the left side, <laughs> and the right side are the Kanaf. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I screwed up, okay? I'm recording this very early How on. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yeah, tell me. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. That's enough for now. <laughs> what desperate measures is that, Clay? So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down, and then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. What was you in for? You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... <laughs> well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. Service to the chief? You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. 
The winners of the Kul Root must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, Marshals are Hikaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. <laughs> as you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Yeah, what? He seems a bit conflicted. He seems like he's sort of stuck in the middle a little bit. So, what tribe are you now? So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. But, but there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. I hope so. Alright, that's enough I for now. I think I've heard enough for now. So much As dialogue in this game. There's so much. Um, right to passage. You asked why I need right of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important. And it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. more nervous about the Karja, honestly. But, there we go. The Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, 
marshals. You who claim to be Tanakh. Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. Oh. Lancers, form up. Oh, this is very, very bad. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav, come with us now, or oh, not at all. Archers, light them up. Gonna make it. Open the gates. Open the gates. Open the gates. Get Kaja. Stand your ground! Fire at will! I don't have a shot! Well, this is very wise. Stick I to cover. Archers on the ridge. Expecting that. Where are they? Here they come. We're spotted. Where are they? Vengeance for Fasha. Oh, here they are. Got him. Can you use a shock attack? Do you need ammo? Take that. Help! 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 You suffer for that! Oh. Blood chemist up. 
Oh, that hurt. Sumo's is going to pop off so much in this episode. Lay down. Don't go back up. Cut them all down. honor is yours. Whoa. Eat this acid. I'll take this. Just to try. No. Right, done. Oh. Where did you come from? Now get back on your charger. Cut them all down. Obviously, it's meant to be quite a unique aspect of Aloy that she can actually control and uh, control the machine. And now everyone seems to be doing it. Another oh, kind of that. There's a few more left. You coming down or not? Just you and me. No! Just held him back. Oh, crap. They are everywhere. Just taking them one by one. Oh, oh, oh. He looks weak. Is your charger weak or are you weak? There's something weak on there. Oh, I'm gonna go down here. No, no don't wanna, I don't want to be here right now. Where am I? Where am I? I could run away, can I? <laughs> Just, bye bye. See you later. Why they're so angry? The cards are absolute swine. I wasn't involved in this. Some more, got plenty of wood. That's what she said. Ow. Not plenty of uh, health though. Yeah, in case you guys didn't work it out, the embassy has not gone very well. Granted. Oh. Interesting tech. That's oh, a shoot as well. You're next, girl. Oh, I've never boy. seen a shield like that. Better scan it. <laughs> Do I have time to scan it? I 
can break through his shield if I damage it enough. I'm going to damage it enough, okay. I mean, I could have guessed that. I gotta get through that shield. But a bit of acid. From real combat. Ooh, that was an interesting little strategy. There, now's my chance. Shield's gone. Off some of the armor, what we like to see. Can I make any more of these? Yes. Freeze. Our shield regenerated. Oh. Kidding me. Your time is over. I think it is. Right, how can I break down that shield quickly? Some acid out of him. Break his guard. Shield's gone. He's vulnerable. That won't. Still pretty tough, even without the shield. You're not stopping me. He's losing armor slowly. Ooh. How am I supposed to avoid that attack? Right, next idea. That was about 15 arrows there. Great job, Scott, as always. I've got to break that shield. Up there, he's exposed. No. Here we go. A champion is dead. Oh, and I've reached level nine. Go me. Are we done here? Can I nick that tech as well? Your turn. Actually? Come down here and face me. No. <laughs> what a surprise. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life. To oh, is that why? Comrades. <laughs> Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. And your champion is dead. What a wimp. Come down and fight me one on one. No machines. Get him to the camp now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron for now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit, but I should be able to use it to glide. Aloy. 
We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I want to go to that tall neck straight I away. I need to be on my way. <laughs> then I, I need to go. Luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. Thank you. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. Me too. Yeah, that embassy went really well. <laughs> Just great. Oh, what a joke. It couldn't have gone more worse, really, could it? Let's be honest. Oh, yeah, how do we use that glider? I hope the game will tell me. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, I was going to say, I need to see it. Uh, the Shield Wing is an energy based glider repurposed from machine technology. So hold down square while in the air to deploy it, and then press circle to stop gliding. Got it. Definitely give that a go at some point. So, this is the Forbidden West. Yep. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from Ooh. the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe a backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. Perhaps if he spoke to Regala, she might... She might the let us... The woman who let the ambush, I don't know. Regala... Let us go, basically. ...had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. That is true. What's his angle? Why what? help to knock the rebels? Why? Does he want conflict? the extra stock for later? Why do you want conflict? I'm hoping I can go to the map and I'm hoping it will tell me where the tall neck is because I want to get to their ASAP. Quick little save. Uh, and let's look at the map. Is the tall neck... Ah, perfect. That is exactly where I want to go. Yeah, I think I can see it, actually. Good spot to test the shield wing. Oh, yeah. Why I climb down when I can glide. <laughs> Ooh. It worked. It does work. Does it have, have like, a, a limit? Or... No, not really. Oh, damn. This is good. Sweet. I like it. Good addition. <coughs> it's taking over the land out here, too. Something's going on at that camp. 
Oh, you are correct. I'm going to ignore that for now because I want to get to this tool neck. Get a lay of the lands. Is that a tank? That's an old tank. What happened here? Uh, I do need a charger. Do we have one available? Yes, we can call for my charger now. Where is it? There you are. Let's go and find this tool neck. Uh, if I can get down from here, that is. Look at this. Damn, this game is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I see some flying <laughs> machines. That's not good. A lot good. of ancient wrecks out here. A lot. Must have been a huge battle. And a lot of blight. The old ones. They gave everything they had to slow down the Pharaoh swarm. To buy Zero Dawn time. Didn't quite work though, did it? I can see it. I can definitely see it. Our first tunic. This is this is this is a big deal. This is a very big I'm deal. Still getting a signal from my focus. There it is. Let's chase it down. A tall neck. If I override it, I can get data on the surrounding area. That's the plan. Try and catch it up. And then try and climb it. Looks like a satellite dish. If I can climb it, I should be able to reach that tall neck easily. There must ah. be a place on The Utaro tribe's home. Can I track it? Level 10? Okay, we're fine. We're not, we're not that far off. Uh, so, in terms of skills... Hmm. Do I want to focus more on machines? I don't even know how to properly use the spike throw yet, so it's probably not really worth doing that. Override subroutines. Okay, set... Oh, yeah. So, we can say, basically set a machine we, um, we control. We can turn it into an aggressive or defensive behavior. Which could be quite useful. Uh, move faster using heavy weapons. That'd be nice as well. Uh, I don't know. Quiet spear. Slightly less audio with melee attacks. All right. More quieter and deadly. Let's disembark. It's on top of old satellite dishes. Do you have a weakness? Oops. You calling for backup? I hope not. Sit down. A bit of ice to this scenario. I missed. <laughs> Damn you. If I get those little Tesla coils on the back. It's proving tricky. Ooh, that was a quick attack. Wow. There's a couple here now. Great. I'm dead, surely. Oh. Chill out. There's absolutely no reason for you to be here. No reason whatsoever. I just want to climb this satellite. I guess maybe glide to the tool neck. That's, that's all I want. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Whoa. His legs look too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way. Look at that tail. What's this even called? Oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> Couldn't scan it. Skydiver, I think, maybe? You are rough, aren't you? Oh, go on, Charger. Glad to see that. I think the tower might be a weakness as well. No, oh, that's my Charger. Wrecked my Charger. At least it helped out a little bit. Sky Drifter. There we go. Ooh. So this is what we need to climb to get to the tall neck. Also, a collectible down here, maybe? Oh. You've seen me already. Ah, 
Did not see you there at all. I won't lie. Charge up and failed. What is that? Ooh. A power generator? Oh, does that maybe help me out in a second? Ah, maybe it will. Maybe it will help me climb this uh this satellite. This must have generated power at some point. It's dead now. It might need a battery. Let me guess, I can't climb the satellite without that battery. That's the guess I've got right now. If I can get to this tool neck and finish off this episode, I'll be chuffed with that. No power, though. We, I don't know if we can get to the top of this tool neck. Maybe the tool neck has some kind of battery on it that maybe can help us out. Higher, but Looks like this thing can rotate. If I can figure out a way to turn the power back on. Alright, so this tool neck needs battery. And I think I know where it is now. So where, where I dropped that ladder, I'm guessing that might be a battery. A power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This there we go. This that generator below the dish going. Yes! Can I glide down? Oh, I can. There's the generator. <laughs> But Slightly blood landing. Can get it running. Oh, did I drop the battery? What? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh. I actually dropped it. And that will turn the console online, and then that will move the satellite, which means we can then glide to the tool neck. Can't wait! Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Agree. <laughs> Oh, wow. Let's see what this thing does. That's bright. My eyes! Looks like I'm in luck. That's really bright. It's like Michael Bay style. A bit of lens flare. Is that moving where I want it to move? Error. Oh. Dish alignment incomplete. Motor function impeded. That's not good. So it might be blocking it. Yeah. No, not that. I want arrows. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's going to be really high up. Reach the top of the dish. I can see a ladder. It shouldn't be too difficult. I want to make this jump, by the way. First time. <laughs> if I don't make it first time, I will consider that a failure. Uh, yeah, come up here now. Yeah, no pressure, Scott. Yeah, I have to make this first time. Otherwise, I will be super duper embarrassed. Barely, barely embarrassed. I look at this shit. Yeah. Well, I need to go up, up, up. Where's the ladder? Where are you? Not around there. Definitely saw a ladder. I just can't find it now. There it is. Such a just crazy ambitious game this. I should be able to get to that tall neck now. Just in the right spot. Looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck. Just gotta time it right. I'm guessing this looks like the, the highest spot. Right? Here I come! Uh, please make it, please make it! Yes! Come on! Oh. I think we did it. Yes! There we go. 
Kind Very of happy with that. Thinking. Let's get a lay of the land. The right. map should open up. Almost done. Sorry. They get a little bit of stress when we do it. I don't know why. It's basically like a mini set. There we go. <laughs> Tall next send map data to other machines. There's a settlement up ahead. There you go. Built into more of these dishes. Huh? Thank you, Tulnik. Bossed it. Absolutely bossed it. Revealed the map. Got skill points, got XP. That's what we do. I'll pick these up. Six skill points to spend. Oh. Right, where do we begin? Um, do we go straight to Death's Door? Do we do some side missions? The Bristlebacks, uh, we can continue that quest line as well. Definitely intrigued to see where, that, where, that, where they came from and why it happened and who's behind it. And it is a level seven, so it's not too bad. So we might do that. Um, six skill points. Where do we put these? <laughs> Good question. Uh, stealth test. As long as we're staying um, stealthily, uh, we do an extra... 25% tear damage, so that tears off pieces of armor and reveals more weaknesses. So it's pretty useful. Um, this one is Silent Strike Gain. Recover weapon stamina and an additional valor when using Silent Strike. Okay, go for it. Thank you very much. Uh, and even, even quieter spear attack. It's now even less audible, which we love. Not enough skill points. Yeah, some of these are... Oh, I've run out. <laughs> okay, I'll take that back. All right, not bad. I guess we go and investigate the Bristlebacks. I mean, that's a good good place. I want to see what happens with those. I want to see why it happened. I'm intrigued. So let's quit that as my main task. So, this is the machine catalogue. Got the Sky Drifters. The Bristlebacks, the Chargers, the Scourgers, and the Bolerers. Um, Yeah, definitely the Sky drift Drifters have been the most difficult of enemies so far. Got a lot of HP and very awkward to kill and very quick. And they fly, which is a little bit inconvenient. Very inconvenient. What's this? Oh, some blighted meat. Lovely. The best kind of meat. I think this might be quite a good time to end this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to continue with the Bristleback quest in the next episode. So look out for that. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.